My name is Sarah Shelton, and as someone who loves pizza and has Italian ancestors from the Campania region, I'm going to talk about how pizza was born in this region and then how it became mainstream in America. Pizza is something I've grown up with and has been part of my diet even more ever since living on campus in New Haven, Connecticut. From Pepe's to Sally's, I see so many people on campus ordering pizzas. According to Old Bridge Pizza, a New Jersey pizzeria established in 1978, about 3 billion pies are sold each year in America, but pizza actually has a long history to it. While it's not exactly the pizza we know today, flatbreads with toppings were consumed by the ancient Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks. But the birthplace of the type of pizza we see today is from the southwestern Campania region, home to the street of Naples. Under the Bourbon Kings, Naples had become one of the largest cities in Europe, especially because of its location in the overseas trade. By 1748, much of the population was in poverty, and Naples needed food that was easy to make, easy to eat, and that was affordable. Street vendors then decided on pizza because it fit all of those requirements. However, Italy's first cookbooks, which appeared in the late 19th century, did not even include pizza. Little did these authors know, pizza would become a big staple of Italian food today. Italy unified in 1861, and according to History.com, Queen Margherita visited Naples in 1889, where her and the king asked for an assortment of pizzas. The queen apparently enjoyed a pie called pizza mozzarella, which is now known as margarita pizza. Pizza remained mainly in Naples until Italian immigrants came to America. They came to cities like New York City and New Haven around the 1940s. These immigrants came for factory jobs, but ended up sharing their pizza creation with the east coast of America. The country's first pizzeria was born in New York's Little Italy neighborhood by the Lombardis. According to a Pace Magazine article, in 1905, a slice of pizza cost five cents. During the American Depression, when families did not have much money, pizza became popular around New York, just like it did during poverty in Italy. Pizza was mostly limited to Italian immigrant communities until after World War II, when American soldiers returning from Italy still wanted their pizza. This made it more mainstream in America, and different types of American creations were made with these pies. To quote John Dickey, to the Italian palate, the American way of eating is cornucopia of horrors. While we may not eat like they do in Italy, nor probably do their pizza justice, at least we have some form of authentic pizza here in New Haven, Connecticut, thanks to the Italian immigrants who came during the Depression.